Okay, we're back with that Marshall 2210. And as you can see, I have neatened up the wiring and the lead dress a lot. I removed a good eight inches of uh, wire total from in here, little bits on each connection. Uh, those red and green, sorry, the red and, and black heater wires that were going from here to here and they were just bundled up with all these, gr these green grid wires are now from all tw nice, nicely twisted and steered away from the gr grids. They're here, the grids on all the tubes are steered away from these heater wires. The black one's going to pin nine. Um, that noisy stock shielded cable has been re replaced with a nice Mogami run. All that noise is gone. We have one layer left to this onion. Let me let you hear it. Dirty channel's fine. Go to the clean channel and there's a hum. Channel sounds okay. But there is a hum, a buzzy hum, with static noises in the background. Hopefully you can hear this. I'll turn the playback up for a moment so you can hear this. And if I turn the drive channel master volume up, notice we're on the clean channel. It gets worse and lower in pitch. If I turn it off, if I turn the master volume for this drive channel off, then we have no sound, no nasty sound. We'd be left with just the good clean sound, which is what we want. So what I suspect is happening is that the way the switching circuit works in the split channel reverbs, the 2210 and others, is notoriously bad. Rather than using discrete transistors for each mute point or opto isolators or other things which usually work pretty well, they have this logic chip, and that logic chip kind of flip-flops depending on the uh, uh, channel switch. And uh, when it flip-flops, various points of the circuit, the wiper of this volume pot, the wiper of this volume pot, and the wiper of the master volume on the gain channel go to ground through these 0.22 microfarad caps. As far as the AC is concerned, that large a cap to ground, it's just gonna go there. It's the same thing as muting it. I'm not sure why they did this rather than using just three little transistors. It'd be very easy to, to do this discreetly and much more simply, but they didn't. And when these caps fail, you get leakage and you can get that noise. I'll turn this up if you can't hear it on playback. Now that can rarely be a problem with the chip. Usually it's a problem with these capacitors. I'm going to check my stash and see if I have suitable replacements. Well, I do not have 250 volt or higher voltage uh, 0.22s aside from some orange drops, which would be just way too large for this. So I will order some box caps of the proper size and rating and, and value and all that stuff. They'll be red instead of white and they'll probably last a lot longer um, than the originals did, though in fairness, these originals lasted a good 30 something years. Other than that, the amp is sounding really nice and the clean channel, once that hum is gone, will be quite lovely. Just noodling, not trying to play anything impressive. And the drive channel on this, Sounds precisely like the drive channel on a 2210. You can dial the treble back and all kinds of stuff, bring the mids and bass up, but it is a very, very late 80s sound. There are all kinds of mods I could do to this. It uses that diode bridge for clipping. Some people prefer uh, red LEDs. You can also use a combination of germanium and silicone. You can use a red, you can use a yellow, you can use a red and a yellow. You can use two reds on one side of the string, a yellow on the other. You can play around with the clipping characteristics, but first we need to get rid of that noise so it'll be worthwhile doing. And the frustrating things with these amps is that I had to change out all the electrolytics to know what noise was bad filter caps versus the lead dress and the heater issues and this bad shielded cable. 
And once all that was done, then I could narrow it down to, okay, the remaining noise is just that nasty sound leaking into the master volume for the drive channel. So, like I said, you got to peel the onion until you're left with nothing but, um, I guess, onion. <laughs>